it's my very good pleasure to introduce Executive Chef Jeremy Lim here at Impact Mung Tong Tini. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting. Well, you just come off a, another spectacular win at the International Culinary uh, Award in, in yes. 2012. And, you know, you, you've, won, you've won awards before, uh, you know, gold before. Yes. How do you maintain such quality, such, you know, excellent skill, not in, only in terms of your cooking ability, but in the creativity as well? Oh, no. You have to uh, have a lot of innovations, and every time you need to think of um, something new. Yeah. So every day you, you need to encourage staff to, uh, to be creative and think something out of the box, which they can do. Yeah. I, I know that a lot of people, when we look at very large venues, a lot of people have, have the, maybe the misconception that mm. well, the more people you cook for at one time, the quality of the food is, 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 is difficult to maintain. How do you do it here? I mean, people know that you know, Impact can host thousands of people at, at one time. That's, that's true. It's, it's, it's the, if it's cooking for a big volume, it's, it's kind of difficult to control. But you have to set a, a, a set of management uh, to control each and every section. Yeah, basically, you have to get your, your sous chef to control their quality. Yeah. And for big volume, we have to um, emphasize on the raw materials. Yeah. Make sure the, the raw materials are fresh and the ingredients used are appropriate, uh, appropriate uh, with the menus. How, speaking of the, the logistics of getting the ingredients, as you mentioned, it would yeah. seem like a, a job by itself. Yes. Now, if, if you're going to have a, a very large banquet, how far in advance are you, are you having to source, you know, the vegetables and the meats and the, the other the other components? Yeah, I would say that we probably take a week to source, one week to source for all these ingredients. Wow. Yeah, but there's always alternative. Yeah, yeah. Let's say we cannot get this um, from this supplier, we can get from others. Yeah, there's all, always alternative. Yeah. Well, we're well, looking in your preparations for. The, the most recent culinary competition. Yes. Uh, you know, every year, obviously, you want to do better than you did the previous year. You want to come up with new, new menus, new dishes, new looks. Yes. Uh, how did you go about it this year? Okay, this year, um, actually, I'm, I'm creating uh, some sort of promotion. Yeah, maybe using uh, imported products from other countries, and then we try to um, uh, create some new dishes with these uh, new products. From overseas, and you in the process that you you get your team together and you you brainstorm or how do you how do you manage everyone has their their individual strengths and weaknesses? Yes, basically I get everyone to come together and we we'll discuss uh, about um, issues for competitions. I will try to get them uh, each and everyone to give their inputs and we share ideas together. And from there we will work out um, the dishes and. And we put our numbers of our practice, and from there you see how, how the taste and the presenters, uh, presentation goes. Is is that what the judges are looking at in, in for the criteria? Yes, of course. Uh, most importantly, is the taste, taste of the dish, and secondly, is the presentation. Yeah. Well, I know just from looking at some of the dishes you you, you put out that you know it's almost like works of art on the plate. Yes, actually, cooking is a. a yeah, you can create everything, anything that you want, as long as your customer loves it. Yeah, then you, you, are, you are very successful. How many times do you you alter it and change it and improve it before wow. you think you you the, you've perfected it? That, there's just a lot of times. Probably you have to go through ten or more than ten times, the practicing and um, the change to change from uh, ingredients to ingredients to make it perfect. Oh. Yeah. H have you? Um, I know you've, you've worked around the world, uh, not just you know in cooking with Thai, Thai ingredients, Thai cuisine, yes. but many others as well. Have you had to learn new skills or, or learn about new ingredients here and how the different flavors interact? Oh yes, you have to learn. You have to understand the, the ingredients before you have to uh, before you have to create the dish. Yeah, because uh, ingredients is very important to the taste of each um, each uh, dishes. Yeah, especially the meat. The meat, the fish, you, you, use, you have to use a different kind of ingredients. I, I know especially in Thai cuisine, you have you know sweet, you have sour, you have salty, and spicy, uh, and, and spicy as yes. well. And, and sometimes it's, it's quite difficult to balance those, those different flavors together as opposed to, let's say, a, a more uh, traditional Western cuisine. Yes. 
uh, how do you go about, you know, all right, I know that this particular herb or spice will pair well with this amount of heat and I just need this. Wow. Okay, basically you have to make the uh, spices and herbs as a balance, yeah. You don't make it too spicy, too sweet. Uh, you have to make it a balance, a balance um, of a sweetness, sour, the spiciness. Can, can you tell us about the, the dishes that you uh, that you did this year at the competition? Oh, this year actually the uh, we did a soft shell crab with uh, turmeric curry, which have won the uh, the overall champion for this category for the modern Thai cuisine. And yeah. what, what was the inspiration? Uh, you know, it, it... Oh, okay. The inspiration is basically we're using uh, uh, soft shell crabs and using the Thai to to uh, marinate and cook it together. Yeah, so for the presentation, inspiration comes from the uh, Western presentation. Yeah, and uh, we try to create um, something which is modern, not just a, just a, or uh, this uh, old traditional Thai Thai style. Yeah. Well, it seems you can really retain the the, the, the core flavor of, of what a Thai dish is, but have yes. that that modern flair to it as well. Yes, you can create the modern flair, especially the, on the presentation parts. Yeah, plays a lot of roles on modern uh, Thai cuisine. Do you also find inspiration in, in the competition? Oh yes, yes. Actually, uh, for, from this competition, we learn a lot from others as well. It's not just only on the cooking te techniques, it's also on the uh, equipment parts we're using. Uh, uh, equipment which we've never seen before. And is this something that you, you, you have to get training for, or you just have to learn from experience? And, and... Uh, no, you, basically you, have a ba you need to have a basic training in the school. In, in, in the cooking school that uh, they teach you the basic cooking and throughout the years when uh, you work um, in various um, restaurants or hotels from there you you learn gradually all the tech, different techniques yeah what do they eat when they go home what do you cook for yourself oh for me <laughs> i'm very simple for me I'll, probably i'll just cook um, a, a bowl of noodles for myself <laughs> that, that would be uh, uh, my meals because you're you're already working with food all, all yes. the day. For me, every day I'm seeing uh, all these fine foods, man. Yeah, but at home I'll have to uh, cook simple food. Uh, simple food, maybe a uh, porridge, cow oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, very last question. With the great success you've had this year and yes. in the previous years as well, are you already looking forward to next year? Uh, yes, we are planning for next year already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Beside Phoenix, uh, and beside Phoenix, the uh, this. Uh, this uh, championship. Also, we have uh, awarded and certified by ISO 22,000, uh, 22, which is this is a food safety management system, yeah, which enables us to control the uh, food safety aspect. And which, which is enables, always important. You want, you want to make sure it's safe and everything is yes. clean there. Yeah, and just to uh, ensure that uh, our customer get clean and safe food. Yeah, well, this is the whole idea. Well, Chef, thank you very much for joining us here and congratulations once again for another outstanding achievement in the International Culinary Awards and we wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you very much. That's all for today on VTOP, but we have plenty more coming up on So This Is Thailand. After this, I'm probably going to get, uh, well, some of the award-winning food myself. So hopefully you can join here at Impact again. We'll see you next time. Now today we're going to talk about some dairy products made from buffalo's milk. Now in Italy, buffalo mozzarella like you see here is actually a delicacy that they use to make their pizzas and they put on their pasta. Now in Thailand we now have buffalo cheese, buffalo's milk, and buffalo's yogurt. There are a lot of benefits and advantages to it and it tastes great too. Stay tuned and we'll find out for more information about it. I would like you all to meet Kun Chalini Chayotla, who is the manager for Murad Dairy Company Limited. Sawadee what is the concept uh, behind Murad Dairy Company Limited? Uh, Murad Dairy Company, uh, we are the first and only dairy buffalo farm in Thailand right now and we try to introduce uh, to Thai market for uh, buffalo milk and its products. Mm -hmm. So I've heard of milk that comes from cows yes. and from goats. Mm -hmm. Your concept is buffalo milk. Mm -hmm. right? So uh, yes. what, what are some of the benefits or advantages behind this? Uh, in terms of health and nutrition uh, facts from the buffalo meal, it has a higher protein content mm -hmm. and higher calcium content while it have a lower cholesterol content. And for the taste, it's, uh, the taste of the meal is much richer than cow's mm -hmm. or goat's milk and 
uh, it doesn't have any um, strange flavor that goat's milk has, so right. it's very easy to drink. A lot of children in Thailand, they are not um, familiar with the goat's milk uh, smell and flavor, right, so right. this is another alternative for people who, are, who have cow's milk allergy, mm -hmm. yes. This type of uh, Murad milk can be mm -hmm. used for milk, cheese, yogurt? Yes. Yes, right, and all sorts um, of, uh, dairy yes, products. it's very good for producing cheese and yogurt because um, the protein content and the solid matter in the milk is higher than cow. So when you're producing the cheese, you have you has higher yield mm -hmm. and you get more cheese per one kilo of milk. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's very good flavor of cheese, uh, especially for mozzarella. In Italy, we produce. Um, Mozzarella, they call mo mozzarella di bufala, mm. which has to make only from buffalo milk. Right, right. Actually, I've heard of it before. Actually. Yes. Right. Very, very gourmet yeah. in, in, in Italy. Yes. So at your shop, mm -hmm. uh, the Mura Cafe and, and Bistro, where we are mm -hmm. now, what kind of different uh, menus or dishes do you make with the uh, buffalo dairy products? Uh, we open Mura, Mura Cafe uh, to serve uh, the customers are farms products, so it's more like a farm outlet. So most of the products we sell here will be made from buffalo milk. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of menu comes from mozzarella cheese, right. and we also produce yogurt. And a lot of bakeries we use uh, buffalo milk and cheese as well. If you would like to uh, try a different type of milk, uh, higher calcium, higher protein, lower cholesterol, uh, Mura Cafe might be the place for you. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much.